Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, where am I going? <laughs> oh, okay, that was fun. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? Um, so I wanted to give you a heads up before tomorrow is like this sudden thing for you guys. Um, I get a call today. Today is Tuesday and they're like, hey, so this is Dr. Blah's, you know, nurse. Um, we want to do your surgery tomorrow. Like, do you have time? And I'm like, uh, sure. So tomorrow is in just a few hours and I will be getting a port, port of cath placed. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know so that when tomorrow is here, you won't seem so completely confused. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm not going to stay long. I am having issues staying awake and I'm really, 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 really dizzy. All right, guys, good morning. Wow, my eyebrow is not filled there. That's because I have a scar. Um, it is about 8.40. We are have to get going in the next couple of minutes and head to the hospital to get um, the port surgery or port uh, procedure, whichever you feel comfortable saying. Um, my doctors kept saying a surgery, even though you, you do leave um, the same day, which then technically is a, um, a procedure. But nonetheless, I'm getting that done this morning and then I'll head back home after so um uh, feeling good you know uh, health wise i feel good today and i actually wasn't up all night like nervous or excited i just wanted to sleep i was really tired actually and i wasn't feeling well last night um so there was that and uh woke up and got the place taken care of here at the house and now i want to go upstairs and go hey dad we got to go me for a different Sarah and as soon as she goes Sarah and she took a girl in a wheelchair I go I'm also Sarah when they called me the woman that was in the wheelchair was headed back to where we were like sitting and I go I think she is supposed to be me and I'm supposed to be her they realized that they actually did make a mistake because my paperwork did not match what it was supposed to be for my surgery so I actually caught on and that was nice so I was getting dressed and the, the nurse left to go and get me a blanket. And she goes, all right, we'll just get dressed and I'll be back. My apologies, a nurse just walked in again um, to go through some paperwork and I'm, wait I'm waiting to get my blood work done. Um, it's only 10 o'clock and my surgery isn't until 11. So uh, what I wanted to say was the nurse left and was like, let me go get you a blanket and in the meantime you can get dressed. Any and every nurse or doctor, they knock before they come in. She straight up walked in. I'm so glad all I had was my pants off. What the heck? I was in shock and I almost said, you didn't knock. That was completely, to me, wrong. But anyway, um, so I am sitting down. I'm going to get some blood work done. Right, yeah. And then speak to the doctor. I also brought a donated mask. So I'm going to hope to see if they can take them off my hands and go from there. So they just brought in my antibiotic, which means we're getting closer to surgery. Yep, a little bit here. How's Ooh. the stomach okay today? Nausea, vomiting? No, today I'm, I'm fine. Okay.
Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, where am I going? <laughs> oh, okay, that was fun. All right, so it's been about an hour of my surgery, but there was a situation with my IV I came in with. It flushed in this room, but then when they took me to the in, to the operating room, it wasn't flushing, so they had to start a whole new line. But I haven't really seen anything. So I guess that's it there. I don't know how I feel. I'm home and I'm exhausted. And I've been home actually for about an hour. Um, the first like 15, 20 minutes, I was on my phone with my mom and some other people who were like, oh, how did it go? And how do you feel? And then I had to go run to the um, post office. So um, after I got home, I pretty much sat down, like right here, and hung out with the animals with my eyes closed. And now I feel like I just need to get up and do something. I'm actually really hungry. Um, but yeah, but I am not ready to speak. I'm just so tired. <laughs> um, so I'm going to probably eat which is gonna make me more tired and then take a nap and I'll get back to you guys when I'm a little bit more coherent it's been a few hours I slept hard my dad came and woke me up a few times and I basically told him like I just can't stay awake and the later in the day the worse the pain got like 8 out of 10 I couldn't believe it I was in shock but I'm like having to convince myself like you were sedated which helped and they did put numbing medication inside and on your skin so eventually it's going to wear off you know and I'm like I just was like assume you know like stupidly assume that wow I'm not feeling anything now I won't feel anything then <sighs> okay I had to sneeze and because of the pain I kind of like stopped it and then I had to sneeze again and all I felt was this moving like I can actually feel it move and the way it hurts on my collarbone feels like it is literally tucked under, like <clears throat> under it. I know it's not, but, and it feels so swollen and I don't know. And I haven't checked because I like that it's sterile right now. Um, I couldn't even imagine using my port right now if, if I wanted to. Like, I know that you can use a port right away and the nurse's did say that sometimes the doc will put it further down from where they will like wrap my bad my camera died the battery um so what i was saying was um sometimes the doctor will kind of like push it further down into the chest and in, like in between the skin and the muscle um so that you can it can be away from the incision so you can actually access it without any other extra pain but sometimes they'll just close it up right where they put it and then sew or glue the incision, the incision together. And so you're basically poking your brand new, you know, incision site. So you're, it's a lot of pain. Um, from touching it, it's only pain where I feel that the, the port is, which means that it most likely has been stitched or glued up right in that spot, which is going to be very unfortunate because I'd rather not use it until this is done because this is pretty bad. Like... Standing, sitting still is fine, decent, but not amazing. It's about 9.30 now. Um, I have been um, with an ice pack. I keep trading them out, so every like half hour or so, I put one away to get cold again and take another one out. So this is brand new, um, really cold. Uh, this is what it looks like. I haven't checked yet, and I'm probably not going to check till tomorrow to see what it looks like because it's so sore. But I just wanted to let, let you guys know I'm going to bed. I'm going to rest. Um, I haven't taken any pain medication whatsoever. I'm just basically icing it and it actually helps really well. So I will see you guys when I see you guys. Um, thank you for coming on the journey with me. And for your love and support for those who follow my journey. Um, it's crazy. It's been a year and a half as of last week with uh, perif peripheral IV lines. And now I have a port. So, I mean, it's about time, but at the same time, you know, we wanted to make sure that it was needed before we just, we do such a drastic um, procedure or surgery. So, anyway, um, time to relax. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>